Okay, so uh, just before going on to an example of um, uh, using the uh, work equation, force times displacement, uh, let's just com quickly compare conservation of momentum and conservation of energy and energy and momentum changes. So remember, this is the momentum law. Delta P, if delta P is zero, then that means that there's no impulse and your, ch your momentum is is um, constant. However, if there's an external um, force or an external mom momentum transfer across the boundary, then we have an impulse. J is equal to delta P. So this is the, the most general momentum law, but if the system is isolated, then J is zero. That means there's no momentum transfer across the boundary. But if J is not uh, zero, then that means the system is not isolated. That means there's an impulse, some of the forces delta T applied across the boundary, external force. Okay? In the same way, we have an energy law. Delta E is W. You need to see the similarities. Um, if there's an external, if the system is closed, meaning there's no energy transfer, then that means that there's no um, there's no work being done. And in the same way, if there is work being done, it's given by this equation, and there is a delta E. It's not, equ it's not zero. That means the system is not closed. Okay, so, um, and, and look at this, guys. A, the impulse is sum of the forces times delta T. And work is sum of the forces times delta X. You see how similar they are? But the one is you multiply by the time, and the other one you multiply by the displacement. Okay. All right. So um, now that we've got that out of the way, let's look at example 9.6 quickly. Um, so we have a ball that is falling to the earth. Um, it has an, a certain inertia. It falls from rest and falls vertically, so it, inc it increases its velocity. What is the ball's final kinetic energy after displacement? Delta x, x final minus x initial. So what we can do is we, choose the, we can choose the ball as our system. We'll see later. You can choose the ball and the earth as your system, or you can just choose the ball as your system. It, it, you can get the same answer with both, but um, it's just a different way of analyzing it. And we treat the ball as a particle. What does that mean? It means that if, if we treat the ball as a particle and you apply a force to the ball, the ball cannot change shape, which means its internal energy cannot change. So the only energy that changes when you apply a force to the ball is its kinetic energy can change. Okay. So now, let us just do a quick energy diagram. Does the kinetic energy increase? Yes, its velocity increases. Does the potential energy change? No, because the Earth is not included in the system. Source energy, thermal energy also do not change. Okay? And that's also because it's a particle. It's a particle. All right. But the Earth does positive work because the force of gravity is down and the displacement is down. So the, the Earth does positive work. And so the kinetic energy is increasing. But now, in terms of the actual equations we use, uh, remember that work is force times displacement. On a particle, it's force times displacement. What is the force? It is the force of Earth on the ball. It's a gravitational force. But what is this force? Well, from chapter 8, we know that the force of gravity is minus mg. And then we know that delta x final is xf minus xi. Okay? So we know two things. Work is force time displacement for a particle. And work is delta E, which is delta K. So we've got these two guys. Work is delta K and work is force times uh, displacement. And so delta K, uh, the initial kinetic energy is zero. The final kinetic energy is non-zero. So delta K is simply equal to K, final. So we set this equal to delta K. 
that equals del uh, so which equals kf so your final kinetic energy is given by this and so does your kinetic energy what what's the question what is the ball's final kinetic energy that is the ball's final kinetic energy and is it positive or negative what do you expect well the kinetic energy has to be positive because it's increased its velocity so if x so this has to be positive how is it positive if x final is smaller than x initial which it is right x final is smaller than x initial then this has to be negative a negative times a negative gives me a positive kinetic energy okay so this is the one way of calculating it the other way of calculating it is if you included the earth inside the system then the earth is not doing work on the system but the potential energy is decreasing and then and then we have the sum of delta e equals zero because this plus and that would give us zero and the work done on the system is zero so you've got basically these two ways of calculating it